Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see what is Power BI. So I want to play this video for you. This is for the Power BI itself. After all, there's no shortage of data being produced. Whether it's apps and services, devices and IoT, downloads, conversations, or telemetry data. But having the data is just the beginning. It's then sorted, arranged, and presented. Only then do stories and strategies emerge. Microsoft Power BI helps you tell those stories. It starts by connecting to hundreds of data sources and systems, both structured and unstructured. Built-in intelligence models the information, leading to beautiful, easy-to-read interactive reports that lead to easy-to-understand insights. Those insights emerge and flow smoothly and naturally, whether in the office, the boardroom, or from your fingertips. Confidence in governance and security lead to sharing and reacting in real time, so that scaling beyond your limits can lead to new strategies in the market. Whether you're an employee of one or 100,000, it's data leading to decisions, leading to action, leading to innovation. Microsoft Power BI, bridge the gap between data and decisions. Find out how at microsoft.powerbi.com. Beautiful. So you can see like what Power BI is they have explained. If you haven't heard clearly or if you haven't, I give you a link for this. I request you to please watch this if you have only one and a half minute. So Power BI is a business intelligence tool provided by Microsoft. And the best thing what I can say is it is absolutely free. So Power BI desktop comes with absolutely free. There is two services now you might be thinking like if it is absolutely free then how Microsoft is making a money from this yeah they have Power BI service also that is that is a uh, that is not free actually that comes with a paid version there are two versions of Power BI service one is pro and premium but that from that they are making money so Power BI is unified scalable platform for self-service and enterprise business intelligence so you can connect to any data sources like there are more than 100 connectors where you can connect Power BI and bring a data into Power BI so I mean like you can connect with uh, your Excel you can connect with your CSV your JSON file if your data is in your Azure blob if your data is in your S3 bucket anything so you can bring if whether it is a structured semi structured you can pull that data into Power BI and you can start building a beautiful report, start building a beautiful visuals on an interactive visuals in Power BI. So uh, like there are so many other tools in market when it comes to BI. So we are going to talk about that and you can see what makes this BI so popular and what makes uh, like what you can make a career in Power BI is we had an excel if you go back maybe four five years back ten years back we have worked all about excel but in excel there are certain limitations you cannot pull out key insights from that data you cannot uh, build a v interactive visuals with an excel so that was the gap where this bi tools came into picture where you can build a beautiful visuals you can see the beautiful visuals we have a pie chart here we have a cards with these cards you can easily understand what is happening with your data but that was difficult when you had an excel so let me just give you an example so suppose i have a sample superstore data so this is a sample superstore data i have a, this data with me this is in excel and it is huge you can see there are like huge rows in this and if i just want to count how many rows are there so there are almost triple nine four like approximately ten thousand rows are there in this excel sheet suppose if i want to find out some key insights so if you just look at the data so it is showing something related to superstore we have row id we have order id order date ship date 
so may this might be like uh, the superstore got the day order on this date he has shipped on this date he has shipped on this mode like second class first class and you can see like uh, how we can work with an excel so on which country which city and so on but if if there is a business question like this superstore owner is asking some questions like hey can you please uh, tell me what was the total sales for the category of furniture so what we used to do like we used to just select it filter out i want furniture and i'll just click on okay so i got all the data filtered for furniture and here i have a sale price i have a profit i have a quantity and discount i can just drag it here so again it is a huge amount uh, like i can just drag it and at the end i'll get a sum of the profit that is making from the furnitures so yeah this is the sum of the profit that i am making for the pro so if there can be any business question so every time i used to or i have to apply the filters and calculate that business answer but when it comes to power bi you can make a, a very beautiful interactive visuals and you can pull out the insights within a fraction of seconds within a fraction of seconds you can do that so we'll have a demo on that and when it comes to bi tools there are a lot of bi tools in the market but why i'm telling you like why power bi makes so uh, like power bi is more important than other bi tools we are going to see here so there is a, a gartner's report survey they have done for all analytics and business intelligence platform so if i click on this you will get this window here so you can see they are done some research and survey based on all analytics and business intelligence platforms so there are so many bi tools in market so one of the uh, next competitor for microsoft power bi is your salesforce tableau so tableau is also a leading bi tool but when it comes to gartner survey you can easily find out from this quadrant that microsoft is leader is leader among all this bi tools so this may, this survey can easily say you that who is the leader and who is leading the market now so power bi is the only tool that is leading the market what i personally feel but there are so many other tools you can see we have the googles we have qlix we have thoughtspot and so many other bi tools so why i can say you like why power bi is uh, like in the leader position and why it makes so much pow powerful when it comes to bi tool so let me open power bi which is installed in my laptop once you open you will get this window we will talk about this later on so let me pull out this so this is your power bi desktop so why i am telling you that power bi is one of the world's most popular bi tool because of that because of their ui so you can just think like when i open this it is way like popular of all the microsoft office what i am using from my childhood so i have been using excel i have been using power powerpoint word document so i feel that hey i have seen somewhere like what is file what is home so save save as open a new report new so this looks familiar because we are into this windows and this operating system from our childhood so they have fit this bi tool in the same category so you can see you can add a page like we do in an excel you can see here like an excel you can just add it and you have home insert page layout and so on so it looks similar you can see you have the ribbons here you have a pane here so insert in fact we have very less when it compared to the excel but yeah obviously when it comes to bi tool there are few tools which are inbuilt in your power bi desktop like we have a power query that is used for etl for cleaning the data for shaping the data we are not talking at this moment but in this video but yes definitely we will be covering that so i'll just take an example of the same excel sheet so i was talking about this get data option why power bi has become so much popular again is because of this get data option so if i click on this this button helps us to connect with multiple sources not only from excel you can pull the data from your sql server 
pull the data from your data warehouse, pull your data from the structured, semi-structured, it might be a CV, C, CSV file, it might be a JSON file, anything. So what Power BI claims that they can connect to more than 100 sources. So it will take one or uh, like few seconds. So let us wait. Yeah, you can see this. So there are so many connectors you can connect from. You can take an Excel workbook, your CSV file, XML file, JSON file. You can fetch a complete folder, even PDF also, parquet file. And you can connect with your SAP. You can connect to your IBM database, MySQL database. You can see so many connectors are there. Uh, what Power BI claims that you can connect to more than 100 connectors and still they are working on they will be increasing this number so let me cancel this i will be connecting from that excel so let me click on import data from excel and let me take one example sample superstore data and let me click on ok so you can see here uh, like we have three sheets here one is order people and written in an excel so they are showing you all three here so these three are sheets and these three are tables the same thing but this is a complete sheet and this is just a table okay they have detected the table and they are showing a table so you can just pick whatever you want you can just have a quick preview by clicking on this so this is how your data looks yeah so you can just preview have a quick preview so I want the orders table, I want the people table and I want the returns table. So let me click on these three and here you have two powerful buttons here. One is transform data. So if I click on transform data, I will be redirected to power query. For right now, I'm not explaining you about power query. We will be doing that later on. But now let me click on load the data. So that will be loaded into our Power BI desktop so it takes few seconds to load that three sheets in our power bi desktop yeah it has been loaded so you can see i will be explaining you everything guys don't worry but just this is a simple demo i want to show how powerful the power bi tool is Beautiful. You can see you got all three sheets here. You have orders table. So let me click on this. You can see all the columns that were in your Excel sheet. You can see this orders table. All the columns that we had, you can see here. This is arranged in the ascending order, alphabetical order. So now my question was, can you tell me what was the profit made by the category furniture? Okay. So I can build a visuals. So actually when it comes to Power BI building, so we are not directly building a visual. So there is a procedure. So there is a steps involved in this. So first and the foremost thing is when we start with Power BI, we do get data. That is what we have done just now. In get data, we use transformation like we do ETL that is extracting, transforming and loading. For that, we use Power Query power query and then we do data modeling this is our second step in data modeling we built a model and we built few complex calculations tax calculations and then we come for the visualization okay that here we build our reports reports okay once we build our reports then we share it then we use power bi service here we use share and collaborate our reports and also we create a dashboard in this power bi service okay so this is the steps what we take in power bi but for now we are concentrating only on visualization like we are creating one or two visuals to show you how powerful your power bi tool is we are creating one or two visuals okay so but when we start our course like in detail we have the videos like how to start with get data data modeling visualization power bi service and all those things okay but now let me focus only on visuals just to show you 
how we can start this visualization okay so very simple this is called as a canvas you have three views on the left side report view so yeah we are building a report we are building a visual so i'll stay in the same page here and now my business question was can you tell me what was the profit made by category so i have a category somewhere here so let me click on this i am not doing anything i have clicked on this so some visual is created you can see one visual is created that is by default a table visual a table is created here and let me click on profit here let me click on profit so when i click on profit it is showing you a profit let me put this in a focus mode i hope you can see the numbers now so you can see we got a same value once we have filtered out furniture and we have seen the sum of the profits from the furniture was the same thing but how many seconds it took to build this visual only few seconds now if you feel that hey i don't want this in a table i want in a column chart no worries so let me just click on this column chart and you can see a beautiful visual created with few clicks few seconds so this is the sum of the profit category wise so i can do some formatting for this let me just go to this formatting and let me click on this data labels and you can see this data label so it is approximately 18k profit made from this furniture now the business questions can be anything now they can ask like can you tell me what was the profit made according to the city or according to the state so we have only the data of one country like usa now if you think like where i can see the data where i can see the rows so you can come to this data view you can click here so this is your excel sheet how it looks in a excel similar way you can see it here and you can do the same sorting you can check all the data by just clicking on this small arrow so in country we have united states we have the states here you can see all the states of us so now if you want to know the profits made according to the state you can come here in the report view you can click on the state then you click on the profit if you want a profit you can take a profit you can take a sales anything yeah <clears throat> so you can see how power bi is so uh, like powerful and so intelligent when i clicked on state they know that okay this states belongs to us so automatically they are suggesting a map for us so we do sale in all these states now if i just take a profit and put this in a bubble size here profit and put this in a bubble size and you can see the bubble size has been increased now what do you mean by that so i can easily find out that a hey, in the new york and in california i can see that the profits are huge but when it comes to taxes and when it comes to other states the profits are less so this is one of the beautiful map visual so they are using a microsoft bing map not a google map okay because they are in the ecosystem of microsoft we are in the ecosystem of microsoft so you can use in this way now you feel that hey i don't want a map i want a bar chart for that no worries just click on the bar chart yeah you can see beautiful so california is making the highest profit now if you want to know hey what is that number so you can just move your cursor it will show you a tool tip so this is called a tool tip it is showing you the more information about that bar and some of the new, uh, profit made by new york state and so on you can see this these are the cities which are making a loss you can see texas is making loss now you can easily find out like why texas is making loss in which in which category they are making loss so i can just click on this furniture and you can see furniture they are making loss you can see some of the visuals bars have been highlighted you can find out key insights from that so this is just an example to show you how power bi tool works and guys this is not like the simple what i have shown you i have shown you only one step in this visualization you have lot of uh, steps here like we have to spend lot of time in power query like how to clean the data shape the data and do a lot of data modeling data modeling is if you have many tables how to create a relationship between them 
is modeling and then we will go to the DAX if we have the complex calculations like if there is a requirement from the clients like can you tell me what was the my last year sale previous month sale quarter sale your YTD your YOI all financial terms then you can go and calculate that using a DAX then we build our reports in visualization and then we publish this report by just clicking on this publish button your report will be in your power bi service so this was a simple demo to show you how power bi is power bi tool is simple and super powerful when it compared to all bi tools Thank you for watching this video guys you can continue watching this playlist to understand how the get data works how the power bi flow is how the data modeling works and how the dax works by in this playlist you will find everything if you have any doubts any questions you can just comment me on this i'll help you i'm here to help you thank you guys thank you for watching again keep learning